today we will be talking about have you ever been um, in a situation whether it's you or someone said this to you but they you either say what you don't mean or somebody says something to you that they don't mean and then it ends up breaking your heart or hurting you or you get frustrated and mad and you end up not trusting that person or um, it, what they say just don't make sense and then they end up just talking 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 and it's like they're just blowing hot air up between your butt cheeks I mean that's really what they're doing they're just saying a bunch of stuff and in the end it really comes down to you end up just what they what that person says or what you say ends up going in one ear and out the other um, and uh, the Bible says a lot about that actually I got two main verses that I want to focus on but it ends up hurting us whenever we say something and we don't mean it or it's said to us and that person didn't mean it whether it go from I love you to hey you want to go out sometime and it never happening or I'm gonna text you sometime and then that doesn't happen or you know just stuff like that or anything like that or hey you know you want to go get a, a slice of pizza and then they never do <laughs> It's upsetting and it hurts or whether they say it doesn't matter what they say it ends up you end up not trusting that person and that per and you become untrustworthy whenever we don't say what we mean and we don't mean what we say so the first verse I'd like to focus on is um, Matthew 5 37 it says but let your yes be yes and your no no for whatever is more than these is from the evil one so what's interesting about that is that whenever we say no to someone or something we should follow through we don't we shouldn't go back on a word and reconsider or say hmm maybe <laughs> or I didn't then but I do now you know what I mean or you, in other words don't change don't compromise yourself or your feelings or or your standards to meet somebody else's um, stick to your gums and if you said yes to an event or to help out or you said yes to something follow through you know and, and be that person to be there for that person or to say what you mean and mean what you say because not only do you become dependable you become trustworthy and you become that friend to somebody that maybe has been let down previously or maybe you are that person who's been let down you need somebody to mean what they say and say what they mean so we should do that as well the next verse this one is one of my favorites because it kind of speaks to me in a way of um, in a way where our actions speak louder than words in another sense so like it's it's kind of talks about you know what you say you should do um, kind of like let your yes be yes and your no be no um, because it, 3.18 okay first John 3.18 I'll talk about it after I read it it says my little children let us not love in word or in tongue but in deed and in truth so we should not love in what we say or uh, <clears throat> love and fall in love with people's words we should fall in love with people's actions we should fall in love with what people do not with what they say they'll do or who they say they are we should fall in love with the yeses and we should fall in love with the people who stick to their word, who stick to their guns, who their yeses are yeses and their noes are noes. And we need to be people, uh, men and women, who stand up and say, follow through and be, go back to where our word means something. Because nowadays, um, your word back then used to matter. You know, that was your, that was your loan, is that your, your word was, I'll pay you back. You know, and nowadays they have all these legal documents and papers because you, everybody is untrustworthy. Don't trust anybody but yourself. And that is not true. Um, uh, it shouldn't be true, but it is. So um, let us be the one that can be trustworthy, that can be dependable, that, can, that people can fall in love in our actions and not our words. You know, because when you fall in love with words, you're in a world full of hurt. You are going to be hurt over and over and over again. But when you fall in love with somebody's actions, it speaks so much louder than words. I mean, truly.
trust me, whether it be you or somebody else, look at their actions, look at how they act. Do they say what they do? Do they mean what they do? Do they say what they mean? I mean, it's very, I don't know what my dog is doing. <laughs> it's very important. So let our yeses be yeses and our noes be no. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for you today. It's kind of really short, but it was on my mind a little bit ago because it, uh, Something previously had happened in my life. I'm like, look, look, it even says right here in the Bible <laughs> that you should mean what you say and say what you mean. <laughs> you know? Because you get tired of fake people. You get tired of people telling you one thing and doing another. Or people saying a bunch of stuff and never fathering, follow, fathering, <laughs> following through um, and meaning what they say. It gets old. You want somebody, you come to the age where words don't do it for you, you know? You gotta have that action. You gotta have that passion, that 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 in, intentionalness behind what you say. The actions to follow. So, and shout out to Planet Fitness. I got a free T-shirt. Then quit the gym. <laughs> Just kidding. And here's my dog. Say hi, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's pray. God, thank you for this wonderful day. Bless these people watching, Lord. Teach us to be men and women of faith and people who um, our yeses are yeses and our noes be no. Let our actions speak louder than our words, Lord. And Lord, let us do what we let us say what we mean and, and mean what we say, Lord. And um, help us to do that and be um, trustworthy, dependable people, whether it be friendships, relationships, or our jobs. Lord, help us in your holy name. I pray. Amen. Thank you all. I'll see you next Wednesday.